Tonight's Ask Ellen question, is it true that for many years weather forecasting for Michigan suffered because the level of Lake Michigan was set at sea level? And was this a problem for other Great Lakes? This is from Gwen. Love this question because it has to do with forecasting and some of the nitty gritty inside baseball type stuff that we deal with on a day to day basis. So typically we use a lot of forecast models. The particular model that Gwen is asking about is called the HRRR and this is our most accurate short term forecast model. It actually was accidentally setting Lake Michigan and the other Great Lakes at an elevation of sea level. Well, this is incorrect because Lake Michigan has an average surface elevation of 577 feet. So in these forecast models, it was like there was a sheer cliff from Lake Michigan up into Michigan because it didn't raise the Great Lakes to the height that it was supposed to be at. Now again, this happened for the HRRR forecast model. I wanna show you what that looks like. We use it almost every night here on Storm Team 8 and Wood TV 8. And you can see how high resolution it is, especially compared to the next best medium range model. This is the European. So can you see the difference? Again, if we go back, you can see that we have really nice high resolution, really uh, tight, bold contours on where the precipitation is going to land. In comparison, much more broad, uh, less definitive. This is because the HRRR is set at a better resolution. So out of all the forecast models for this to happen to, the forecast model it happened to is one that picks up on subtle variations. So just a quick comparison, the HRRR has less than two miles of resolution, which means it picks up a data point less than two miles everywhere in the nation at the surface. It's run every single hour pulling fresh data and then rolling it out into the future with the forecast. And the forecasts are from 18 to 36 hours long. So when we step down in resolution to the European model, it's six miles of resolution. So every six miles, it pulls a data point. It's run every six hours, so not nearly as frequently. And it's run out to about 90 to 240 hours. So that's the payoff. It goes out a lot longer than the HRRR. The GFS is the last forecast model that you might be familiar with. This has an 18 mile grid resolution. So again, every 18 miles, it pulls up a data point. It's run every six hours, and this one goes out to 384 hours. Although technically for some of those latter hours, it has a much worse resolution. All this to say, again, if there was an error made on any of the models, it would be picked up by the one that has the best resolution. So with this error that occurred, it wasn't just for Lake Michigan, it actually happens for all of the Great Lakes. It occurred on December 2020. And when that happened, it was because there was a scheduled upgrade to the HRRR. It kept running unnoticed for a while. In fact, it was not resolved until July 19th of 2022. Now here's the most crazy part, in my opinion. You would think that an error of that capacity would mess up forecast, would create tons of errors. But after looking back at the data and how it performs with some of the actual weather simulations and uh, events that happened, we came to realize that this elevation problem actually had negligible effects on the forecast, meaning after all of that, after they noticed it, after they fixed it, it actually didn't really matter all that much. That, perhaps, is the most shocking thing that I have seen. Great question, Gwen. If you have a question, please send it to weather at woodtv.com or the7 at woodtv.com.